good about guarding well away from the rim. There's a steal by Melander. Smurf, one on one, gets it to go. Marcus Melander. Beats for him last night, so you're seeing a little laboring maybe from last night for the Colonels. Love Gator, him there. Mid range. Love him there. He's a problem against his own right there. Point guard, he does it. Millender wouldn't let it happen. Gator outside for three. Isaiah Gator, he's got nine. Instead, Smurf will take it himself. Goes up on the lane. Maxwell oh. land with a nice rebound, the tip in, and it's 68 to Millender. Millender, no good. Rebound Nichols to West, and Nichols has got a shot. Four seconds, three, West. Driving to the basket, puts it in with five tenths of a second to go. Jamal West, we are tied. Long shot at the buzzer, no good. Looking for somebody to get it out to. The three-pointer on the way, no good. Rebound South Alabama. Jags have the basketball and a chance. Four seconds. Turbo driving the lane. He's fouled, and Turbo will go to the free throw line with a chance to put South Alabama ahead. Oh. Turbo Jones. It's good. South Alabama with a lead. 1.7 to go. Seven is what they've got to work with. Baseball pass. Got Caught. Foul. Oh, gosh, there's a foul on Tabe. Now Jamal West. It doesn't matter because he's going to go to the free throw line. Three-point attempt instead turns into a drive oh, on the right blue. side. No good. Ball being tapped around. Millinder has it. Two on two. Millinder to land. Land. Yes. Maxwell land. Gets the bucket and gets fouled. There's the action up top. Inside Offside. out, there's your three-point attempt by Robert Brown. <laughs> He's got it. Robert Brown, true from three. Three OT. Gator. Underneath, nice move, Isaiah Gator. He's been huge, especially in that turn his back to Marshall Keering. Land coming in on the double team. Brown, three-pointer, got it again. Robert Brown, back-to-back -back three pointers. Yeah, credit to those guys. Um, I mean, we they came in and they they found a way to win. We kind of controlled the game for a long time, and we self-inflicted a lot of things, um, missed a lot of layups, turnovers that gave them momentum, and then a lack of lack of stops. We couldn't stop them. Um, and it allowed them to get back in it. And then down the stretch, we, we had opportunity to win the game. And we, again, self-inflicted, made a bad, just a, not a good play at, at the wrong time. And, um, and we could have snuck out of here at the win. But we're not playing well enough to beat to anybody. I'm not anybody. We, um, we've, we've, had, we've had two games in here where we've played incredibly poor. We um, obviously had the game in Tuscaloosa where we were really bad. And then in Buffalo, we did some pretty good things and found a way to win that. But we're, we're not playing well. And I, I, I always say it's on me 100%. Um, I, I've got to gotta find out. We're playing a lot of guys right now. We're trying to give guys opportunity. And um, we're, we're searching. You know, we're searching. It's early. You know, it's early. Play four games. Um, but it's, it's not encouraging what, how we're playing right now. We've, we've got to play better um, to, to, get, to turn this thing around. Again, it's early. We've, we have time to turn around, but we have to have some urgency and we need some guys to, to really step up and, and show some consistency of, of, um, that we can count on to help us win. We saw it in that first half, uh, a lot of juice, a lot of guys flying around in, in I thought, at least a pretty decent first half. What do you do to, to, to kind of capture that in the second half? Our biggest problem right now is when adversity strikes, we we don't handle it well. We get it's like we it's like deer in the headlights. When it strikes, um, we got to get tougher to fin like to fight it off. It's the second half. Everything was going good, and then we missed a couple layups. We had a few costly turnovers, and then they you know scored five or six straight times or whatever it was, and we had we got that look. Um, that, that look of, I don't know what it is, like deer in the headlights, just kind of like we're in a fog. And we've, we've done that every game, to be honest with you. Obviously, down, you know, some other games, longer periods than this. But even Buffalo with four, with four minutes left, they, you know, we started turning the ball over a little bit, and it, the lead went from 20 
to you know down to 12 or 14 whatever it was we we kind of had that looked into um it's it's really discouraging i mean you you guys you guys have known me long enough it's discouraging we um we hadn't we hadn't been this it's um it's disappointing but again it's early we got to fight we got to get better there, there is no choice we've played four games we've got 27 regular season games left that's 27 opportunities to go win um and we got to look at it that way how we prepare how we work um and there is no time to hang our heads um i know everybody's frustrated there's no time to hang our heads we got to play tomorrow at three o'clock and we got to dig deep and and come out there and and be better than we were tonight. So we give ourselves a chance to win the game. Um, a lot of guys you know on that other team, as a staff and players, uh, does that make it tougher? Yeah, all of them for me are tough that we don't win. Um, I'm proud of those guys. I really am. I, I told them that. I'm proud of them. Um, I know they had an extra edge against me, and that's fine. You know, I. I that's and they showed up like they did. They showed up. I thought, I thought, um, I thought Tavon coached a great game. I thought he did a really good job of keeping them in, keeping them energized when we had a lead and they were able to climb back and and do what they did. I was um, I'm proud of how you know I root for those guys. Jamal West, obviously not against us, but Jamal West, Deontay Smith. I mean, I have – I want them to play well. I want them to do well. I want them to be able to go get their dreams and goals. That's, it's not, it hasn't changed since they were here, you know. They – I mean, they came out and they beat us. They did. And, you know, sometimes when – you know, you just got to – as a – who I am as a person, I want anybody that's ever been part of our program to do well. Obviously not against us. I wasn't hoping they would play a great game against us. But I follow the guys that leave here. I check the box scores. I watch them. And unless it's against us, I root for them. Um, that's how I am. I know sometimes in these others, animosity or whatever, it, I'm not like that. I, would, I want those guys to do well. And I, t I tip my hat to them. I told, I told them, like, proud of you, man. Like, played really well. Keep playing well, you know. Um, so they they came in here and they beat us, and you know we 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 we, we obviously self inflicted some of that, but they came, they made the plays they needed to make, and we did not. Uh, started Millinder tonight. Seemed like he gave you a pretty good effort. Yeah, he's a tough little sucker, man. He, I know he wishes he had some of those layups back. I think he probably got wore down. I mean, he played fifty three minutes. Um, but it was hard to not have him out there and try to win the game. Um, it, we ask a lot of him as a freshman. He's he's a heck of a player. He's only going to keep getting better. Um, he's about to write stuff. He he works every day on his game. He cares about winning. Um, and he's he's emerged into a guy like some of our older guys need to step up and help him a little bit. You know, it was the same at Alabama. I started in Alabama and he came out and he was on the right stuff. You know. He was ready to, he was ready to battle those guys for the first half. I mean, he was our most productive guy. Then he got cramps in the second half. We he couldn't play anymore. But he he wasn't scared, and he wasn't scared tonight, and he wasn't scared at Buffalo. So he's he's got a chance to be a really really good player. I mean, heck, he's a good player now. He almost had a triple double. Um, but we got to help him some, and, and we got to continue to to keep getting him better because he does. He has a chance to be really special, and. Um, yeah, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him. He stepped up and, and really gave us, you know, his best. And that's that's all I can ask as a coach. Um, you know about I, I don't know. He was hurting pretty bad. He was, had his ankle wrapped. I think it's his ankle. I'm not 100% certain on that. He had his ankle wrapped up. It's either ankle or foot. Um, it, it looked like he was in a lot of pain. I don't know this, how bad it was. I think, you know, they'll get an x-ray and looked at. And I, I would assume. He's a no-go for tomorrow, but um, hopefully moving forward, um, he's okay. Yeah, he was, he was down for a good 30 seconds. Is there no mechanism to stop the game? 
I don't know. It's weird. Like sometimes you'll see them stop it. Sometimes you don't. I don't know the exact written law of if you're if you're supposed to or not. But I think some guys will stop it and some guys don't. Um, it's hard, obviously, when you don't stop it because you're playing five on four. But he he was down pretty good. Usually they would stop it on an injury that looked as bad as that. Yeah, that was a tough one. Uh, a lot of overtimes, uh, us battling, guys taking injuries, us falling out. It was just a game we had to uh, get the win, but we didn't come out on top. It seemed like in the, the last overtime you guys were kind of struggling to get your shot. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't even know what to tell you. Uh, I don't know. I think our confidence got so low. Uh, then what we were in the first in the first half, we came out hot. But as we keep going, we're going to keep getting better. Nah, we've been we've been playing together for a long time. I feel like uh, as the season keep moving on, we're gonna keep the uh, keep the momentum uh, going. At least you get to turn around and play again tomorrow. You kind of get this one out of your system pretty quick. Yep, guys got to get treatment, uh, get their bodies right, make sure we putting the right uh, foods in our bodies. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get the dub tomorrow.